look, we're talking about Nintendo Switch 2, but we're doing so because something has cropped up from a Nintendo studio that is very exciting, at least when it comes to talking about excitement for Nintendo's next platform. You see, we know a few specs and sparing details from leaks and all that, but we don't have the complete picture, and we truly won't get the complete picture until Nintendo gives it to us. They reveal the thing, show us the games, we get an idea of what we're getting. Uh, and again, there's so much we don't know that I'm, I'm just super excited for Nintendo's actual reveal, hopefully this year, if not early next year. We'll find out later. But what I do want to know is what are Nintendo's own developers thinking about this platform? And we now have an idea, uh, a very good idea, thanks to Retro Studios. And in particular, thanks to Doctray81, fellow YouTubers, detective work with Retro Studios. Because they're hiring. And they're hiring someone. Specifically, it so seems for Nintendo Switch 2 because this is a full-time position. This is not a temporary contract. In fact, the thing actually specifies in the hiring post how rare it is for Nintendo and even them to be looking for a full-time person in this particular position. Then that means it goes well beyond Metroid Prime 4 and whatever they're doing now. This is about the future of Retro Studios, and they seem stoked about what Nintendo has cooking, and that is what is exciting about it. So... Let's go over here and look at Dotre's video here. You'll see that it says Director of Engineering Retro Studios at the very top, and you can see Dotre's title there, Retro Studio seems hyped for Switch 2 power, and they definitely do. Here is this hiring post from over on LinkedIn. It says, I'm excited to announce that we're looking to hire a graphics engineer. That's right, we're talking about graphics, folks. Retro is a uniquely wonderful engineering environment in a number of ways. One, we focus purely on Nintendo hardware, so we get to build technology that gets every drop of performance possible. The team speaks milliseconds. Every developer and discipline cares deeply about hitting our aggressive frame rate targets. Sounds like Retro Studios loves 60 FPS. We take pride in creating truly best in class graphical experiences on Nintendo hardware. This means that our graphics technology is always front of mind at Retro. <sighs> retro slash Nintendo hires slowly and rarely, so full-time openings are not common at Retro. If you're even considering applying, don't pass this chance to join an amazing team. Now, obviously, if you're excited about this, go down to the comments right now and let me know because I know I'm really excited about it and that's why we're gonna gush. Retro Studios is one of Nintendo's top tier development studios based on the ratings of the games they put out over the last 25 years. And the crazy part about all of this is we saw Metro Prime Remaster that was done internally and it is widely considered as a remaster to be one of the best graphical showcases on Switch. It's also, by the way, if it got you excited for Metroid Prime 4, Totally understandable, by the way, because they're literally telling you, hey, uh, we have aggressive frame rate targets. We also bleed every ounce of performance out of Nintendo hardware to push bleeding edge graphics. This is the only studio Nintendo has that claims to really try to get to bleeding edge visuals. So if you ever wonder, like, what company could potentially get bleeding edge visuals out of Nintendo Switch 2, it's going to be Retro Studios. Like, I know we're excited for what Monolith Soft is going to do in the Zelda team, but if you're just looking for a visual feast, Retro Studios is the company that's looking to do that. And the thing is, this is a full-time position, and we already know the Nintendo Switch successor is announced by Nintendo. So it's not even jumping to conclusions here that, oh, this person's going to be working on next-generation hardware. This this person that they're hiring for full time is going to be working on Nintendo Switch 2 games. Well, yeah, Nintendo's already announced the platform's coming. So when you're hiring someone full time right now, you're clearly talking about the future. So it, it, this to me is just a very exciting prospect. And clearly they're talking about bleeding edge visuals, trying to push the best possible visuals on Nintendo hardware. They think it's an advantage that they purely work on Nintendo hardware, which like they're a Nintendo owned developer. You think they're going to speak ill of their parent company? I mean, that's, that's just not going to happen. So 
I just find this to be really, really awesome. And it does seem like there's some excitement in this post about what Nintendo has coming because they even talk about how we take pride in creating truly best in class graphical experiences on Nintendo hardware. And that means our graphics technology is always the front of mind for retro. They really are about just trying to make things that look like they could be on other systems, but they exist on Nintendo. And that to me is a really big dedication by Retro Studios and really goes to show their current management style and the way they're doing things that you can argue Tropical Freeze and, and all that, like those side-scrolling Donkey Kong games. They're visually pleasing, but no one's thinking that those are like pushing things to the bleeding edge. Metroid Prime 4 sounds like it's going to be doing that. Sounds like it's going to be at 60 FPS based on their aggressive frame rate targets pretty much being non-negotiable. But then doing that while presenting a visual feast, that is not easy, even on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. Going to the bleeding edge of their visuals and yet maintaining 60 FPS is not easy for a lot of developers. And Retro Studios is like, we don't give a sh crap. We're working on Nintendo hardware. We're working on Nintendo Switch 2. We're going to the damn bleeding edge. We're going to take this system as far as it can go and present a visual feast with aggressive frame rate targets. And we're, when we drop this, everyone's going to look at our games and go, damn, I didn't know they could do that on that hardware. That, to me, is maybe Retro Studios' biggest calling card. Is uh, I don't know Metro Prime 4 is going to blow up for them and end up being the best-selling Metroid of all time. I think we all hope and assume and pray that it does because we want to see the Metroid series continue its healthy growth, right? Metroid Dread is the best-selling game in the franchise, so it would be nice that the next, you know, full first-person, you know, 3D version of Metroid ends up being then the next best-selling game in Metroid. We just keep seeing that progressive growth. Sort of like we saw with Pikmin, right? Pikmin 3 Deluxe ended up becoming the best-selling Pikmin game once it hit Switch, and then Pikmin 4 outsold it, and that became the best-selling Pikmin game, showing that the Pikmin franchise is slowly growing. We saw this with Animal Crossing as well, where we had Animal Crossing Wild World, and then that was actually the best-selling uh, Animal Crossing game, and then New Leaf flew right by it with 11, 12 million, and now obviously New Horizons is up there in the 40 million. So it, it, we, we have seen a lot of Nintendo's IPs, you know, growing and growing. So I think the idea here would be, hey, if we somehow get Metroid Prime 4 out and it blows up and it grows, our next project, whether it's Metroid Prime 5 or whatever they're working on, because they probably have another project in the works right now as Metroid Prime 4 development is probably wrapping up. Whatever that project is, they want that next Retro Studios project to end up being just even more impressive than people thought were possible. And I think some idea of what, re what Retro Studios is doing, and this might be reading too much into a single hiring post, but reading into the how much they care about the frame rates and how much they care about the graphics, it kind of lets me think that I believe this studio is trying to be Nintendo's Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog has an excellent reputation for Sony. And while we don't know if they can hit the same narrative quality that Naughty Dog does, what we do know is Retro Studios seems to be taking pride in themselves, being Nintendo's biggest in terms of staff Western development studio. One of the few they actually have. The, the other one they have is actually out in Canada. Next Level Games does an excellent job with the Luigi's Mansion series. And they also did, what, Mario Strikers, I believe they developed. But here's the thing. This studio seems to be taking pride being like, no, no, we are a showcase studio for Nintendo. And we're going to keep being a showcase studio for Nintendo. You just got to get games out a bit more often, guys, all right? When Metro Prime 4 drops, I hope it's not like another decade till we see another game from your company. Hopefully, we can see another one in five or six years dropping like right in the middle or latter half of uh, the Nintendo Switch 2 era. So we can see yet again another visually impressive beast of a game out of Retro Studios. And chances are, if this other game they're working on, uh, they probably already had work done on it. Like they've, Not like they're just, just now starting development for it. They've probably been working on a second game for a year or two already alongside. Uh, that's how these development studios work. Like, yeah, a lot of things focused on one game to finish it up, but then as you get towards the end of development, you start to split off and uh, start new projects. So I'm just excited to see what they have going on. This is obviously just really exciting. And you know what, folks? Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel RoboJets from Nintendo Prime, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.